Greetings, salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Today is going to be a Goodwill thrift haul. So if you guys are interested in seeing the thrifting video for this, I'll hit the little eye right there. The window will pop out. And you can select the video there along with the playlist for my other thrifting videos, haul videos, and vlog videos. And if you would like to follow me and haven't done so already on Instagram and Facebook, it's going to be, it's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. I'll have them all linked down in the description box below, along with the link from my Depop shop, www.depop.com backslash it's Hadrian. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of the items I have for sale up there from my halves, 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 they'll all be there for you guys to check out as well. But without further ado, let's get into this haul because I got some fun stuff. It's not going to be the largest haul, but I got some cool handbags. Um, I'm going to show you guys this bag, even though, um... It's not from this particular thrift haul, but it was from a quick side trip. I went to a like a thrift store really quick and only found one item, and it was this one. Um, there is a Goodwill that I usually like to go to, and I didn't even know that they were closing down for renovations um, at the end of this month, which is, which is June, and they won't be opening for two weeks. So they're going to be closed for two weeks. Um, and everything in the store was an extra 50% off, which is really, really nice. And I was hoping to find something, and I did, and it was this handbag. Now, this is a Leapskin handbag, and I love Leapskin. They have, like, the most beautiful leathers, and they're very, um, uh, environmentally friendly. So all of their, uh, dyes are vegetable dyes, so they don't have any, like, negative, um, environmental impacts on the like on the world and stuff so this particular bag was ten dollars but it was five dollars after the sale and it's in really great condition the interior is awesome um the leather it's in great condition um it does look like there was a little bit of like a water stain on the back which is not very noticeable due to like the aged and like worn in look of the leather so it's not like horrible um i think it'll like be less noticeable once i condition the bag and I think it's gonna look really great. Plus, Leapskin just makes beautiful, beautiful handbags anyway. And their leathers have like that lived in worn look, and I think that they just get better over time. So, this has a great adjustable crossbody strap, nice, comfortable shoulder strap, and just like great hardware. It's nice silver, and then um, the interior is in fairly good, actually, it's in pretty good condition. There's like no stains or anything in there, just a little dirt which I will take out and then yeah, so I think this was a great deal at $10, so leave skinned. If you guys don't know their bags, check them out. Um, I, I believe they're from Ber like Berlin, so uh, it's more of like a European brand. They um, are fair, they're very popular overseas, but they actually carry them in uh, America. I don't know what other department stores other than Nordstrom they have them in. Um, but they might probably carry them also at Macy's and maybe Saks and stuff. So, really, really cute though. I love, 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 love that bag. Um, then, actually, let me show you this too. This is a Tory Birch pouch. It's like a little wristlet. Now, I don't know exactly if this came with maybe a larger bag or if it had like a wristlet. I think it had like a strap attached to like a larger bag or tote or something. But, um, the hardware on this is a little bit worn but the interior is in great condition it has a really cute little Tory Burch logo on the zipper there and in the interior zipper as well and then the Tory Burch lining and this little guy was only six dollars so it's I think it's a really really cute little pouch you can still get a lot of use out of this um the leather is in great condition, um, a little bit of darkening, but I think I'll be able to clean that up. And then just a little bit of like the wear on the hardware on the front. And yeah, really, really cute. You can probably attach a wristlet on here. Um, if your bag has like a bungee that you can attach to, you can do that as well. And use it inside your handbag or just like as like a cute little clutch or wallet, pouch, you name it. It's super versatile. Then the next item I have here is, this is a Holding Horses um, metallic tote. I really love this tote. I love like the distressed metallic leather on it. I love the handles. I love the contrasting smooth leather with the um, metallic. 
I love these little straps. I don't know, they remind me of like a Celine. And then you can connect them together to hold the bag closed. In the, and then it changes like the shape of the bag. So you definitely have like multiple ways to wear this bag. And I just think it's like a really awesome. The interior is nice and clean. It holds a ton. You can use it for school, for work, for every day. And who doesn't love like a fun metallic tote? And this one is a little bit more like, um, more like, I don't know, rustic, I guess. Can a metallic be rustic? It's um, definitely like a night, like a, a cool bag, I think. And it, it'll transition really well throughout the year, I think. And great shoulder strap, beautiful, and nice and clean inside too. So this will be up for sale for sure in the show, in the store. And I believe this is a brand carried in anthropology. So fun. This is the second anthropology bag I found this day actually when I went thrifting. So really cool to see those anthropology bags out there. Then I found this also, at first I thought it was fake, but found out that it wasn't after I like looked into the authentication process of the backpacks because I'm not too um, familiar with the, with the Longchamp backpacks. But this is in fact an authentic black Longchamp backpack and it's super cute and it's in awesome condition. No tears, no stains, looks really, really good and I am really excited. This is my first Longchamp backpack that I found. Oh. There is like a weird little, I don't know if it's like a weird color transfer thing across the top. It's like kind of like metallic, like it was laying on some sort of other bag. It might have actually been this crazy horse bag, but I'm not too sure. But I think I can get it out. Um, I haven't tried to yet though. But other than that, the bag is in excellent condition. And this bag was only a few dollars. How much was it? Yeah, it was like... Six dollars. So it was a great bag, great find, and I don't know if I'm gonna have this for, for sale. I might keep it, um, give it to my mom or my sister or something. But we'll see. If you guys are interested in it, let me know. Definitely message me. And I'll let you know if you don't see it up for sale in the shop. But um, yeah, really exciting find. My first long jump backpack. I found the totes before in the past, even a leather tote. But this is my first backpack, and it's in awesome condition. So I was very, very excited to have found that. Whew. And then I have one last item to share with you guys, and this one is definitely my favorite, I think. It's really, really cool, and it is this Dooney and Burke tote, and it's a fabric and leather combination. Um, I am obsessed with this print. I think it's really cool. It's perfect for summer. I would love pillows in this print, actually, and I've just seen this print everywhere recently in interior decor and like fashion stuff like this print is very current and very in and I just love it. I love the tassels on the sides. The leather is amazing. It's so supple. It's like amazing. Like you know that Dooney and Burke has like amazing leather and this is like no exception. And the interior is nice and clean. It has a bright red lining and then it has a zipper pocket in the back, two open pockets in the front and it has a button closure right there and it also has a cool bungee for your keys and this bag was a little expensive at like I think it was a $20 but well worth it and in great condition the fabric is pretty awesome there are like slight signs of darkening I'm gonna see if I can clean it but like around the back there's just like a little bit of darkening and a little bit like around the front and the bottom, but I think I can clean it out because this is like a coated canvas. So yeah, this rounds out today's haul. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and checking out what I found. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite item was that I got. I think the Longchamp and the Dooney are definitely my two favorites. They're such awesome finds. I'm um, not sure if I'm gonna let go of the Dooney. I, I don't know, maybe. Uh, but it's just such a cool summer tote. I want to use it at least once, I think, before I let it go. I don't know. But if anyone's really interested, let me know. And um, I'll probably be um, willing to part with it. Uh, but thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated when I do post a new video. And I do post videos every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I love you guys immensely. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you guys again for all your support. You guys are so amazing. 
Um, I just love reading your comments and like all my my interactions with you guys here on YouTube and on Instagram and Facebook is just like so fun. Um, so if you guys like what, like have any questions about thrifting or handbags or anything, feel free to send me a message. Um, it's sometimes it takes me a while to get back to you on. Uh, an email because for some reason ever since putting my email public I've been just getting like inundated with like hundreds of like junk email so um, I try to sift through them though uh, but just de definitely leave a comment or um, the best way is probably on Instagram I think is the easiest so it's hatering just like it's spelled here I'll have the link down below as well so add me on there send me a DM if you have any questions or just want to chat about anything I love talking to you guys um, I've talked to so many of you and you guys are so awesome and you guys have a wealth of knowledge as far as like thrifting goes um, how to authenticate things um, interior decorations like anything you guys are so awesome and I get so much out of like talking to you guys that you like it's just like a win-win for everyone I think so thank you guys again so much for watching and hanging out um, hope you guys had fun because I did and I'll see you guys all Cool bags or something, everything in here is 50% off. So, Let's see what they have. Nicole Miller.